The Autumn Winter 2021 Shanghai Fashion Week opened with a defile of Mark Farewell. It's been very refreshing to see the brand trying to incorporate elements from animals in ancient Chinese myths into their streetwear. At the same time, we also spoke to industry insiders. Many have been very optimistic about the outlook of China's fashion retail after Shanghai Fashion Week resumed last October. Take a listen. I worked for four fashion brands. I saw them suffer last year. Their stores had barely any business. After the pandemic was mostly brought under control and they started doing live stream sales, my clients have been mostly satisfied with the rebound. I expect this year will be even better for them than 2019. With the internal cycle and domestic consumption coming to center stage, this is a great opportunity for Chinese brands to dig deep into the domestic market and create a strong presence. Once they nail that, they might be able to go on to create greater influence overseas. In this fight, those that can present fashion elements unique to China in a contemporary way will come out on top. Also being presented at the Xintendi main venue are the defilés of Chinese fashion brands including Kunhua and C Plus Series. Both brands are bringing social media ready looks that are also extremely photogenic and this kind of looks are very popular with the 20-somethings at the moment. And also a brand called Himu that like to take fabric inspirations from ancient Chinese wear and give them an edge. In general, Chinese designers are trying to walk away from this overly crafty style from the past and also embrace wearability and simplicity. Also check out other fashion events and exhibitions at Jing'an Carey Center and Tang Shanghai. Susie Tietchan Live.